what the heck? <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> so I uh, just realized something and uh, here's not so bad, but I just remembered something. I am afraid of heights. <laughs> I think we might have made it to the peak. Damn, that was way more challenging than I thought it was, but holy crap, it's just absolutely beautiful out here. Wow. Guys, this is so freaking cool. It's one of the coolest things I've done in a long time. So my guess is that rock right there is probably the highest point up here. It's so funny. <laughs> So I walked a little further up and there's like a whole bunch more buildings back here. Whoa. Look at these old monuments. These have probably been here for a very long time. I mean, some of these buildings are literally 400 years old. Let's go check out that one. Oh wow, so it's funny, the other ones, you actually have to apparently pay to go and see them up close. I mean, the other one's like massive, that big, big one that we saw, but these ones are not uh, as extravagant, but they are beautiful though. Well, again, I spoke too soon, because apparently you do have to pay 800 yen to go in there. Um, all right, let's continue on. It's not that I don't want to pay. I just I can't spend so much time in each building because then you won't really get to see as much. And honestly, I'm just like I said, I'm just enjoying the area. It's beautiful. We've got great weather. No complaints from me. Damn, look at that one. That is so freaking cool. Wow. Just something else. Goes all the way up there too. Damn, it's like stepping back in time. Got another beautiful one here. I don't know where that way goes, but uh, we're slowly making our way up the hill, I believe, but I keep stopping because I'm just enjoying all of this. This is so incredible. Got lots of students, I guess on a field trip or something. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I am getting very, very hungry and I need to eat something soon. Oh wow, look at this. I know there's just so much going on in this video. <laughs> it's just non-stop, like temple after temple, but there's so many. It's incredible. Damn, Daniel. Not really 100% sure what this building is, but there are some very, very old looking drawings there on the wall. That's actually pretty cool to see. It's like mostly faded, it looks like. I'm trying to really make it out, but I don't know, it's me that looks like some kind of demon thing. I don't know what that is. These are some very, very old altars.
Well, that was definitely a very, very impressive shrine. Still more here to look at on the way out onto these stones. I love the old trees. Some of these are uh, like thousands of years old. Clearly a lot of this has been here for a long time. It's very, very covered in moss, which is just gives it such an impressive old look. Um, but yeah. So there is actually, I guess I'll give you a sneak preview into what's about to happen on the channel as well. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm actually going to be going to an abandoned shrine. Apparently it's actually haunted. Uh, still doing a little bit of research so I know exactly what, it, what it's all about. But that will be uh, definitely a fun and interesting experience. First time I've ever even thought of doing a haunted shrine. <laughs> but I mean churches can be haunted too, right? So one of the craziest things I ever caught on camera was literally in a church. What's the matter, buddy? Why are you whining? This guy was just whining for some reason. <laughs> Why are you crying? What's the matter? He's probably hungry. <laughs> no one will feed him. Because for some reason it's not as busy down in this uh, specific section. What's the matter? Talk to me. Why are you crying? Are you hungry? Do I have to buy you some food? Oh. If you tell me that you're hungry, I will buy you some food. <laughs> There's just this like random herd of <laughs> deer all coming this way all of a sudden. Are those your friends? Hmm? Is that why you were crying? You just wanted your friends to come? Oh, look at them all. Where are you all going? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> okay. Damn, look how high they can jump. That's wild. <laughs> They're all just running up there for some reason. Hey, don't fall. <laughs> oh, there come a few more. It must be like an event or something. They're gonna go and have a deer party. <laughs> I cannot figure out for the life of me why. <laughs> Where the heck are you all going? <laughs> well, this is cool. So I think where I want to get to is like up that way. Um, but I'm kind of hungry. I need something to eat. All I had was a couple hard-boiled eggs <laughs> from 7-Eleven. Uh, looks like there might be some places to eat here. I think I need some energy before I make that uh, hike up there. Oh! <laughs> that one's getting a little feisty. He's trying to <laughs> nip his butt. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this one over here wants me to feed him. I have no food, my friend. You are adorable, though. <laughs> oh, aren't you just a cutie? Hi. Can I pet you? Wait, can I sit down? Do you get a photo? <laughs> I'll get the little light. Wait, so they're all light. Uh, oh, look at them all go. <laughs> so I'm trying to find a little spot to eat at, but... Doesn't really look like there's any restaurants or food places up here, so I might just have to wait till I get back down. Okay, so looks like uh, we are in the protected area. I had to buy a ticket. It was very cheap, actually. 150 yen. Kind of weird that I had to buy a ticket to walk up a mountain. <laughs> but it should take us about 35 minutes to get there. Um, definitely got to watch our step here, because the steps are kind of weird, but... Yeah, this should be pretty cool. So this is our view so far, wow. 
It's already impressive. Just imagine once we get to the top. What an impressive view. Damn, this is so freaking cool. It's also very hard getting up here, but slowly but surely. <laughs> well, thankfully the uh, terrain has changed, kind of leveled off, so be a little bit of a uh, slower, softer hike up to the top, but I'm kind of hoping I'll make it. So tired from already doing so much hiking even yesterday just in osaka alone i did 4.8 miles which is pretty significant but you know add all the miles that i've already done on this trip it's a lot so i uh just realized something and uh here's not so bad but i just remembered something i am afraid of heights <laughs> so coming down is gonna be a oh boy this is not gonna be fun it's gonna be amazing being at the top. Man, this is quite the hike. I'm not sure if that's the top or not, but we've gotten pretty high. And I see one marker, I just have absolutely no idea what it says. Um, but there's more protected area up here. Oh, look, I see deer. Awesome, so we're gonna get to the top and see more deer. Wow. Damn, what a crazy view. And there's also deer up here too. <laughs> of course. Hello. Looking for food, are we? <sighs> Damn, this is impressive. go even a little higher I guess all the way up that way and then I think it goes all the way down and around but well we definitely conquered the shit out of this mountain or hill or whatever you want to call it but damn is that ever a crazy view so that was quite the uh, crazy hike <laughs> so far and apparently we're not even done yet there's more to go up that way. Now my back is all sweaty. It's just kind of gross and it's like rubbing on my back, on my bag. Ugh. Hopefully I'll dry off soon. I'm getting a little bit chilly up here. Oh sh it keeps going. <laughs> There's a bunch of people all the way up there too. Oh damn, just when I thought I was done, apparently you're not done. <laughs> you gotta keep going. I do have to say the terrain here is uh, pretty incredible. We still have a pretty good view. There's one random cherry blossom tree down there. Um, but it almost looks desert-like. Very cool. It's like we just entered Arizona or something, but in Japan. Okay, I think we might have made it to the peak. Damn, that was way more challenging than I thought it was, but... Holy crap, it's just absolutely beautiful out here. Hey look, more deer. <laughs> They're just absolutely everywhere. Wow. Guys, this is so freaking cool. It's one of the coolest things I've done in a long time. So I think that right there, <clears throat> I think that right there is actually the very, very highest point here on the mountain. So we're going to do it, just to say we accomplished it, and then uh, start making our way down. But wow, <laughs> honest, honest to God guys, he's just, this was literally like one of the coolest things I've ever freaking done. So I guess that rock right there is probably the highest point up here. This is crazy how it keeps going. <laughs> now, I wish I knew which direction Mount Fuji was in, but I haven't really bothered to check. But let's check out the final view up here. Damn, that is so cool. Wow.
So I'm watching these two deers just chilling. One's grooming the other. <laughs> really zoomed in. Okay, well, that uh, pretty much concludes that adventure. Um, honestly, totally worth it. This is definitely now one of my most favorite uh, experiences overall in life check off the bucket list uh, <laughs> and not to mention definitely one of my new favorite places to come I would definitely come back to Nara would highly recommend anybody that wants to come here uh, the deer are just like incredible like what a, a special experience um, definitely come out with your your family your kids you know um, but yeah I think I'm gonna put the camera away give my arm a little break for uh, a little bit um, as I make this hike down it looks like this area is much easier and smoother so yeah I guess uh, we'll see you guys when I get back down there okay so I've uh, started making my way down um, from this mountain here in Nara and uh, I don't even know, to be honest with you, if I'm going the right way. I believe I am. I think it might be a little bit longer, and it'll probably bring me out to another side. Uh, which looks like there might be restaurants in that area, so that kind of works out. Um, but there's literally no one on this side. I'm guessing everybody goes up the way that I went up originally, and I guess they all go back down the same way they came. Uh, but it's nice and peaceful here. Like, listen to that. All you hear is like a little bit of water trickling. I'm guessing there's probably a river or a creek or something down there. Um, and apparently no vehicles can come through here. It was like chained off and I was really confused. Use Google Lens and it's like, oh, no vehicles. I'm like, okay. Uh, oh, there's uh, snakes. What the hell? That's something. Is there like actually a giant snake over here? I better be careful. <laughs> I'm not going to go all the way in, but... That's, uh, that's something. Yeah, there's like a little marker thing there, too. I don't know what this is all about. I'm gonna actually use Google to translate that. Okay, so this is kind of, uh, scary. I don't know where it is. So apparently there is a snake here. It's a viper. I took a picture. Google Lens is super useful here in Japan. I took a picture of that, and it says, Notice a viper appears, which I'm assuming means that there's probably a viper here somewhere. Those are like big ass snakes, aren't they? Where is it though? I don't see anything moving. Who knows? It could be up in the trees, but I'm gonna continue on this adventure <laughs> down this mountain over here. Oh my god. And also, the other thing I'm noticing is there's no deer on this side, strangely enough. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense that they stick to where all the people are because. Um, I mean, they're being fed, essentially, down there. So it's kind of like, why would we come here where we have to uh, find our own food when human beings can quite literally give it to us? So I guess that makes sense. But now I'm kind of concerned that there's going to be like a viper somewhere. And I'm kind of, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of snakes. Snakes are cool from a distance, but uh, actually it might be kind of cool to see it from a distance. Hmm. Well, I'll keep my eyes open either way. I thought I heard a waterfall. Oh my god, look how beautiful that is. There's a couple people there just hanging out, so good to know I'm not the only one out here. But damn, this area is so calm and serene. Let's take a look at this. I have located a couple of deer. They're little itty bitty ones. Super cute. Oh, there's another little waterfall right there too. Wow. But how beautiful. Look at this. First waterfall I've seen here in Japan. I'm gonna get up a little closer. And hopefully these guys don't mind. Wow. So majestic. How beautiful. So I think there is like a much larger waterfall somewhere in the area, but that would literally take me hours to probably go all the way around, so I think this is more of like a shortcut to kind of exit, because let me tell you, man, <laughs> I am getting a little bit tired. My feet hurt. Um, I think I definitely need new shoes, because uh, these are just t almost completely worn out at this point. Oh yeah, look at that. There's another one like almost right there. Wow. 
That's cool. It's kind of nice to actually come out this way. It's not as creepy as uh, Aokigara, but it's uh, it's very, very beautiful. Where'd those deer go? <laughs> they just disappeared. Well, looks like there's another one of these uh, areas with vipers. I'm not sure what this says. I haven't looked that up, but based on what the last one said, I'm going to assume it probably means the same thing. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. I wonder what's in there. Huh. Well, I managed to hike back down to civilization. There's a cool little dam looking thing over here. That's kind of neat. Uh, I'm going to try and find a restaurant to eat at because I am starving at this point. Uh, I'm not sure what these signs say, but this looks really cool. Wow. Well, can't see it perfectly, but. Neat. Oh wow. Literally just found another temple. I'm trying to actually just find a freaking food place, but I keep running into more and more cool stuff to look at and document, even though my legs are just messed up right now, but whatevs. Got a YOLO. Okay, well, I just met some uh, really nice people. They went up that way. They're from uh, New York City, actually. Uh, been meeting a good mix of people out here too. It's been uh, very interesting. Um, actually met some Canadians last night. A Swiss guy. <laughs> uh, obviously lots of Japanese people. Damn, this is cool. Uh, oh, looks like it's uh, closed off. Can't really go any further. No entrance at night. Oh, okay. Go figure. Well, at least we can see from here. It's neat looking. Oh wow, look. It goes literally all the way up. So obviously something back there. But uh, okay, I am going to... I am going to find hopefully something to eat. Apparently there were supposed to be a bunch of restaurants here, but everything's closed. Oh wow, that's cool. Look at that. Nice. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll do a little bit of a search. Maybe head back down towards like the more city area. Um, which is completely different from this. This is not the entirety of Nara. Uh, Nara is a decent sized city, kind of like almost connected to uh, Osaka where I'm staying. Uh, to be honest, Osaka was just much cheaper. Uh, there was a hotel, it was funny because there was a hotel. Um, and actually the reason why I ended up going with Osaka was because I'm gonna be flying out from there to go to Taipei, Taiwan. Um, so I kind of figured, you know what, let me just book my hotel there. But when I did it on Expedia, somehow, I don't even know how this happened, I actually ended up booking my hotel here in Nara, which was a little bit more expensive, but Osaka was the cheapest by far. I think it was actually $67 a night plus tax. I think it worked out to $611 for basically seven days, which is really, really cheap. So I wasn't going to come up this way, but this is really funny. There's literally a deer up here. <laughs> I don't know if he just like walked up the stairs and then realized he couldn't get back down or something. I don't know, but it is so funny out here. Hey man, what you doing up here? You're not supposed to be up here. Huh. Hi, bowing. Unfortunately, I have no food for you, dude, but <laughs> what happened to your fur? Looks like you might have been in, been in a fight or something, eh? Alright, well, I gotta go find some food myself. Good luck. I also just thought, you know what would be really cool? Can I pet you? Can I pet you? You're not gonna try and... Oh, He's whining. What's wrong? Okay, well, see you later. So I was checking on Google to see what was kind of in this particular area. Um, and it looks like there's like a botanical garden somewhere. I don't know if it's still open, but we'll go take a glance and see if we can get in there too. I do have to say, if you like nature, Nara is definitely the way to go. It's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but like they did such an incredible job at uh, building everything here. There's uh, another little shrine here. I can see some more cherry blossoms there. Um, I don't know where I'm going exactly. I think the um, 
the uh, botanical gardens is actually that way. I highly, highly doubt it's open, but it does show that Nara Park is open 24 hours, I believe. Like most parts you can walk through even at night. Um, problem is, subways here in Japan stop running pretty early, so last train to make sure I get home or back to Osaka is at 10.39 p.m., which is kind of shitty, but I got some stuff I gotta do anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, plus also conserve some energy for tomorrow and the day after. Oh, we got more deer over here. Hello, deeros. <laughs> Sorry, no food. <laughs> I'm all out. <laughs> well, there's the garden. Looks like it's closed, unfortunately. Oh, just one deer hanging out. Oh, there's a bunch more down there, too. Man, they're just literally everywhere. Everywhere you go. Except for that one trail coming down. Got another nice little uh, park here. I think I might uh, pop a squat on that bench for a couple of minutes. Rest my feet, because I have not sat down in, like, probably, I don't know, hours. <laughs> just been hiking and walking. Uh, we literally pretty much came from all the way up there, actually even further up. Um, yeah, this looks like a nice uh, swampy little pond thing. <laughs> but first, of course we have to make a friend, right? Hi. Can I help you? You're a chunky boy, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You've been uh, getting fed pretty well, no? <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna just chill here for a bit. Hope you don't mind. Well, the one temple I would have liked to do would have been the one down there. I think that's the one that we were looking at earlier um, that I decided I was going to try and do later, but unfortunately it's like 6.30 now, almost. Yeah, that's definitely the one because I could see the golden thing on the, uh, the top of the roof there. Um, but <laughs> unfortunately going up that freaking mountain took so long. Well, going up and then coming down I feel like took even longer just because I had to go completely around. Totally worth it though. It was very peaceful in there. Um, basically made some friends from the US which was cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to go next apart from finding somewhere to eat. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, it's so funny watching all the people feed the deer here. It's like such an experience in and of itself. They go crazy. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, she's telling him to stop. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Wow. The one thing you gotta notice here, and uh, watch where you step, I mean it's kinda hard to like, avoid it, there's deer shit everywhere. <laughs> I wonder if like, people come through at the end of the day and they're just like, cleaning it all up, I don't know, I'm not quite sure how it works. I'm not quite sure where this train is going, but look at those seats. Yeah, that's been wild. I've never seen anything like that. So, I'm not taking this train, I'm taking the more basic train. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what this one is, but I am heading back to Osaka. And I uh, should be there in about an hour. It's pretty much it for Nara. Um, I would definitely come back. There, It looks like there's more things to do. Um, honestly, the deer, worth it. Worth every second. <laughs> I think that made this trip, just because I had never been there before, uh, that made this trip what it was.